So this is an explanation of the operation of the simple digital computer. Uh, a quick uh, few words. Uh, we assume during the operation that all the registers start off with zeros in them. The exchange register, uh, each of the bits uh, has a zero in it, the accumulator, the memory address register, the location counter. Um, it's also assumed that the program is preloaded into memory and that uh, the computer starts off with the fetch mode on. Uh, the squares you see here, I, IR1, that's the instruction uh, register, or the, these squares, all these squares are known as falling edge JK flip-flops. This computer, uh, all the memory elements are made up of falling edge JK flip-flops. So uh, when you turn the computer on, uh, if you look over here, we uh, see we wrote in a separate dry erase uh, board uh, a program that uh, sounds an alarm whenever a, a window is open. We uh, will explain as we go on in this tutorial how uh, we've wired in a, a sensor uh, connected to a window into uh, addresses uh, 11 and 12 in, in this memory. And uh, the, the, first, the first instruction that we're going to execute is simply to clear the accumulator. Uh, that's in instruction 110 uh, in memory here. So, when the computer turns on, the, the uh, fetch execute flip flop will have a 1 in it, which brings in our, in our uh, sub command generator component, it brings the fetch line high. Also, we start off at, at time 0. Uh, that will be high as well, so we have fetch and uh, T0 lines high. If you, if you follow subcommand generator all the way down, you'll see uh, here where uh, it inputs into, it's hardwired to uh, the load, uh, what's in the location counter into the memory address register for T0 and fetch. So at, at T0, load what's in the location counter into the memory address register. It, uh, this control line comes on. There's a zero, is what we assumed. There's a zero uh, in all of our registers. So uh, you end up with zeros feeding in to each of these AND gates and there's a, a, a logical one feeding into the other part of the, line, uh, the AND gate from our control line so for an AND gate if any input is zero the output is going to be a zero uh, so basically what happens here is it where uh, the location counter says uh, what command and mem what uh, memory address is going to be read next? So we're feeding a zero. The end result is a memory address zero is going to be loaded into the memory address register as soon as the the clock line falls low. So still in T zero, we've got zeros feeding into the inputs of our memory address register when the clock line drops what was the, what was fed into the input of each of the inputs of the memory address register units is going to now be on the outputs we have a zero for our memory address run and one for memory address not one that in turn uh, this is a zero zero for each one uh, leads to our memory address decoder which decodes to memory address zero which brings memory address zero line high so just like in our memory address register we now have ones feeding in into an AND gate and instruction clear accumulator is in memory address zero that's one one zero and so this is going to output 
one one zero on to our memory address lines. Once the clock line has fallen, a moment later, the timer goes to uh, time two, which turns on our move what's in memory into the exchange register line. So fetch, and now we're at, uh, I said T0, it's actually T1, so now we move into T1. If you follow this line, down what's going to happen here is from the uh from T0 and fetch we've already have our uh killer clear accumulator instruction loaded in our memory address lines which in turn feed in to the memory address uh bit inputs leading to our exchange register uh it's going to be 1 1 0 and uh zeros for the remaining six bits. Further, we have our move what's in memory into the exchange register control line on, which feeds through an OR gate into the input to our exchange register itself. One zero, one zero, zero one, zeros down for the remaining six bits. Uh, as soon as the clock line falls, because this is a, these are all falling edge JK flip flops, what was in our input now is loaded into the output of memory. So you have a one, one zero for the first three bits of the exchange register, which maps to uh, that's the the opcode portion of memory and. A moment later, the T2 line turns on, and so the move, uh, what's in memory into the exchange register line turns off, and the uh, move, the operation uh, opcode portion of the exchange register, register into the instruction register control line comes on, which feeds into the input of our instruction register, actually feeds into the clock input. We have a 1, 1, 0 still set instead of our exchange register. A moment later, the uh, clock line falls and when it does we move into time three which will turn on our move what's in the address portion of the exchange register from the memory address register and is it when that happens of course the control line the previous control line which is to move the opcode portion of the exchange register into the instructions register falls it goes back to zero and that moves uh, the clear address the clear I'm sorry the clear accumulator instruction into the instruction register which decodes uh, 110 into our, our clear accumulator. At this point we've got our instruction, our next instruction to actually execute, which is clear accumulator. That line is turned on, which feeds to the uh, clear accumulator line in the subcommand generator. Uh, and we're still in time three, which is in, in our fetch mode. So this move the address portion of the exchange register into the memory address register line is turned on. Let me erase the previous command. So follow it through to this falls back to our 
memory address register. So ones are now placed on the uh, input AND gates from the control line. And as you can see, uh, the input into our memory address register is uh, hardwired into uh, the remaining six bits of the exchange register. That's uh, bits four through nine, XR4, XR5, and so on. These are all zeros right now because uh, a clear a clear accumulator instruction doesn't operate on any portion of memory. Uh, later on, for uh, instructions like add, subtract, etc., uh, it are the add instructions to add basically uh, an address from memory. In this case, like for the next instruction we'll read, in, which is add input, it's going to add whatever at uh, mem our memory address input, which is memory 11. It'll add that to the accumulator. Uh, for our clear accumulator instruction, though, there's just zeros. So essentially, uh, we have zeros feeding in for each of the exchange register inputs, four through nine, and, and one's uh, a zero and a one. Anytime you have a zero inputting to an AND, the output is a zero. So it's basically going to end up feeding a zero, logical zeros, as inputs to these OR gates into the input register memory units. Uh, the second the clock line falls, we now have zeros feeding straight through our memory address register. And as soon as it does, this control line to move the address portion of the exchange register into the memory address register uh, turns off and we go to T4. which is to turn the uh, the next and final uh, subcommand for the fetch portion of the computer which is to add one to the location counter control line turns on if all that through this feeds in to a sort of counter the the end result of which it is to increment the location counter by one. It's at zero. Uh, it'll end up uh, at the end being zero 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 one, which will feed into the memory address register. When the when the clock falls again. The the location uh, add one to location counter line will turn off, and the the clock will continue up to T seven, and then it, it'll it, it'll flip to T zero once again, and you're still in at T seven. There's only one line that's encoded, that's the trigger the fetch execute flip flop. This line comes on, which feeds into both your J and your K. And uh, the way the falling edge JK flip flop works is when both lines are on, as soon as the clock falls, it simply toggles the output. So it was at, it was at fetch 1 and execute 0. The second the clock falls, it suddenly goes to fetch 0 execute one so suddenly the fetch line turns off and the execute line turns on and we proceed to T0 from T7 and that concludes the fetch portion of the simple digital computer the next tutorial will be the uh, covering the execute portion